Um, over the last couple of uh, months, we've had a program of renovation and refurbishment on some of our properties. And the remaining residential ones that we've got, we're obviously insulating them um, as things aren't getting any cheaper or better in terms of bills. So uh, one of the things I wanted to start off with was uh, a bay window. And we've recently bought a, a, a thermal imaging camera. And the pictures show that one of the areas that's very cold is the bay window. So the bay window has been prepared. And as you can see, I've prepared most of the bay window and around the sides by hacking off all of the plaster around where I need to do the work. Um, the additional thing that we've I've done is fill in all of the gaps where the mortar needed filling in. So there is absolutely no gaps in the system. And there underneath the sill you can just see a bit of foam there, which is obviously there to make sure there's no gaps between the sill, the frame and the brickwork. In addition, one of the things that was exposed, uh, which got us really onto this one, was that there's obviously some water, ingress of water coming in here. Uh, in order to identify where that was coming from, I did a Roger Bisbee, sort of backtracking on where it might have been coming from, and identified that on the outside of this window, there's an absolute my new shy hairline crack which is obviously letting the water in and over the years that wood softened and what what I've done here is I've given it a coat of wood hardener and it seems to have done the trick on that. In addition to 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 the work on the filling of the mortar in readiness for sticking the uh, plaster boards and the insulation boards onto that what I've done is I've coated a, a clear coat of PVA. I've put on four coats, which is possibly a bit excessive, really. So the first coat was really watered down, and the second coat was sort of a slightly more PVA, and I ended up with the final coat of half and half, so 50% of PVA and 50% of water, which has given it, a, given it a nice clean finish for me to start working on. Um, and what I'll be doing with this is getting it ready to put the insulation boards on this. And what I've chosen is 25mm of insulation boards and a slightly thinner plasterboard to go on top because it's just easier for me to work with and manage. So just keep watching and I'll upload some pictures, some thermal imaging before and after. And you can see how I get on. Okay, bye. One of the uh, reasons we were insulating and investigating the bay window in this property was uh, there seemed to be a high moisture content and this was identified by the use of a high grommeter which is one of these and as you can see the moisture content in this room at the moment is 71% and one of the ways to obviously gauge any effect of the work that you're doing is to keep a record of these so I've been keeping a record of the temperature uh, the percentage of humidity in this room and within the built-in wardrobes as I've been doing some remedial work on the outside which included a gutter that was splattering onto the brickwork and into the render then obviously permeating <laughs> into the building itself. So uh, at the end of the video I'll, I'll upload some data to show if it's worked or if it hasn't but it's a, a useful little gadget to buy to see how damp your rooms are or what sort of is the moisture content, which causes lots of issues in uh, for property landlords.